Right, welcome back. Last time, we actually won the war against France and grabbed a lot of territory. Not everything I wanted, for sure, but a good amount of progress. So sadly, it's getting lost thanks to the expedition system. So I'm hoping, hoping, to get to the point where I can integrate Modropolit soon. If only because I am much more resistant to the expedition system. Yeah. Coastal subjects. They're great, aren't they? Um, I am approaching the point where I can start doing some new reforms, so that's nice. Though they're going to be fairly expensive, and I do need the points for more ideas. I did finish standing army ideas, as well as exploration ideas. And tech cost is ridiculously cheap, at least when it comes to admin and diplotech. And I've also managed to reach the point where I am, um, I guess, path blazing, you could say, with admin technology. Again, just like how I was with miltech. So that's great. Another idea group will come up soon as well, which will probably make an admin idea group for obvious reasons. Points. Anyway. There's a few options I could take. I could try battling with Iberia again. I do have a few islands that are... that would be nice and convenient to capture for myself, but... well... it is perhaps more of a long-term goal than anything else, so... We'll just have to see. Oh, cool, you can call allies called in as co-belligerents as further co-belligerents. Okay, that's not something I... that was possible previously, so... Must be the newer versions. Yeah, I don't need you. I can... get through all this stuff one at a time. Although I don't think you're supposed to be able to have the diplomacy and all that open at the same time. It just looks strange. Keep drilling, I could use the boss from that. Um, are you sure that's the fastest way to get around the island? Why can't you just go like this? Sextant. The sextant was a brilliant device that could replace both an octant and a quadrant on board a ship. First built in 1757, the sextant became in indispensable aboard ship. Naval force on the plus 5%, may agitate for liberty. Ah, I wonder why no one's done that to me yet. Max colonial range plus 200. They do have a distinct tendency of getting stuff like that happening to me. My random country is spying on me. Ah, 
And there we are. Yep, that's every province, so. At least as far as I can tell, it's every possible province. I don't think there's any others, so. Okay, so that means that 39. Oh, really? Well, if I want to do that, I'm going to have to promote the bureaucrat faction. Okay. The question is, how many reforms can I push through? And how important are they to me? I don't actually need provincial reform thinking about it. I mean, the admin efficiency would be nice, but... Okay. I definitely need mill tech. No doubt about it. So I have about 200 po mill points to work with. Rifled carbines. Accurate, long-range rifled carbines became a commonplace weapon for light infantry. Although they remained slower to fire than smoothbore muskets, their longer range and high accuracy meant that riflemen could get in several shots before their enemies could bring them into range. Rangers would fire at the enemy, then fade into the landscape. Rinse and repeat. Maneuver plus 5%, infantry fire plus 0.15, cavalry fire plus 0.2, artillery fire plus 0.5. I think I should also pick up romanticism. Hmm. Let's expand the uh, power of oversight officials. This has the most beneficial effect. Greatest cost, too, but... Uh, I can't pass any more reforms because of lack of points, so I may as well pick up Romanticism, which emerged as a rejection of the excesses of rationalism in the aftermath of the French Revolution, which has not occurred in this timeline, but oh well. It was shaped by Jacques et Louis David, and his students. Uh, David? Yeah. And his students. Louis David. Who produced works of art that emphasized imagination and emotion. Many romantic works were original, violent, and sublime. And they captured the imagination of artists for generations. Well, that was another idea group. I mean, in theory, I could also go representation, which has a lot of interesting side effects. Or could go colonialism in order to make it so that uh, colonization, so that I can focus fully on colonization. Although, admittedly, there's only so much I could do there. Engineering could also work. Perhaps empire. I think I can save that for later, though. Clearing houses. As banks grew larger, many began to accept notes from each other. From time to time, the banks needed to settle accounts, which they did by courier. This made them vulnerable to these and bandits, so a government chartered banker's clearinghouse was established to facilitate these bank-to-bank -bank transfers. Ship trade power plus 3%, trade range plus 160, trade efficiency plus 1%. Right, the new merchant. Where to put you? Ling one and that. Uh, combination is one I don't particularly 
careful. You only go to the Trampa Seas. So there's no real reason to place anyone there. Assam or the Himalayas, neither of which are extremely helpful. I don't think. Yeah, Assam only goes to Bengal. I already have trade all over there. I already have a merchant there. What about the Pacific? Well, I don't think I have anything that much in the Pacific. No, but it doesn't seem that. Yeah. Okay. Fine. There's not much value here, though, so I don't really see much of a point in trying to get more to go through. Again, you only go to the chumps. You only get it from this node. Okay. You only get it from Yunnan. You're trying to find trade inflows that I can effectively use is tough. At least I'm the only one that bothers with this node. There's a lot of people handling this node, though. But I think it's sheer amount of power. Oh no, people just just dump light ships over here. Jeez, Craigsea has... Yeah, there's quite a few light ships that are just plopped right there. Probably because of its adjacency to the Malacca node. <laughs> To a lesser degree, the Champa Sea node. Try to set as much of it as I can away from India. At least on a less direct route to India, because I have a great deal of control over here. Yep, okay. Um... I, mean, I could try to get this to the Malakas node. Have more power in, yeah. Okay, I won't help much, but it might at least be more than just Iberia and France influencing the node. Yeah, even with just five, I can get a little bit to head towards the Moluccas, which is preferable to me. Okay. I don't think it's possible to fabricate quite more floors. 60. It's gonna take too long. Well, let's go. No time like the present. Though I probably should pick based upon garrisons. This is Bankas, the only one on the reconquest list that is. Yeah, okay. Oh, that's because this has a straight up four, just like this one, even if it's ridiculously weak to the point where I think a garrison would actually be better protection. <laughs> Engineering. Design. Lay out your objectives and think about what, how they are to be achieved. You might be surprised by what you realize. Labor cost per project minus 30%. Robustness. A plan which assumes ideal conditions is a bad plan. Contingency is the bedrock of success. Fort defense plus 10%. Right. So, what is the plan? Okay, so I do want core return to occur. Specifically, these three of a, are of great importance. I also want this, this, and these two islands. It's actually not that much, 19. However, I can only get so much war score from Wargle, 30. 
Assuming I can't get more any more war score from other sources, I'm stuck to about 35. Plus, I am reliant on their war exhaustion remaining high, as well as deal going to, I'm going to have to deal with the length of the war issue. I can only wait for so long, after all. It's a transport fleet. It's going to be too fast for me to catch. Probably. Probably. I don't have a mover, Admiral, so... The ships will remain slow. Oh, they're losing the mandate. Are we going to get another collapse of China? <laughs> That's the perfect timing for it, because I am actually ready to do that sort of a thing, should it come to it. I've noticed that they've been losing manpower, so... Heck, it may not even be an issue to take Taiwan. Because they seem to be going through a massive peasant war right now. I'll do the peace deal come 1780. Oh, the stuff all goes independent. Oh, cool. Well, that just means that Metropolitan now is going to take a lot longer to work through, but... Probably should have waited a second so I could imperialism against more countries. Okay, so I have little reason to wait now. Okay, so that that one's broken. Yeah, oh, that should be a good point to stop. So China collapsed again. <laughs> It happened again. I'm not 100% ready for it because, among other things, they are unwilling to break the tributary relationship. And to be honest, I'm not entirely sure why. My most likely guess is that France attacked them and they're gonna wait on that until they're done with the war. England has also attacked Ming, so that's fun too. I have no battles with Ming. Okay, what about... No battles here either. Yeah, they basically attacked with zero plan, preparation, etc. I've also been doing a good job of teching up. For the most part, I'm good on tech, and I've also picked up engineering ideas. I have also gone to Kurosotra, which means I probably should actually update uh, my uh, regional military to centralized. There we go. That should further improve 
army professionalism, which is going to be helpful because my best chance against China is just quality. See, I still has a lot of troops, but I have a similar amount of troops, actually, and better quality, so I could probably take them on and their vassal states. Though I think my main focus will initially be in Ava in order to take advantage of the fact that I have permanent claims in the area. Although I can only grab so much because coring costs. Honestly, Ava should be fine to turn into a vassal state. They don't have a border. Along, uh, well, they don't have a coastline, unlike, say, Tripura, which you can see the effects of this. In the process of collapsing, they also released all of the, almost all of the cores that they have in the area. At the very least, it's not all of them, they still have these upper bits of Papua, and these inner bits of Borneo, but they just dumped everything they picked up uh, in Java to Machu Pai, which is which was just great. And they also released Penang and Pahang. Although England was able to grab a province before it was able to annex Pahang, and I've been trying to get through Borneo, but as you can see, the Europeans do not stop. They just sent immediately started sending things that way. <sighs> not to mention that uh Vietnam has been slowly losing provinces. What if there's any other imperialist wars going on? Ah, uh, it just seems to be uh, Zhao and Min. Oh, I've been on. Yeah. China might not actually be able to reunify before the end of the game, and if so, ooh. Heck, I could try stealing the mandate for myself, although the decision to do so, I no longer see. But if I can get enough of a foothold, I can presumably gain cores. Or... Yeah, middle king, the Middle Kingdom, core and co look, core cash cost minus 100%. Is Iron, Eisengerun is Qing, the culture group is Chinese. Well, there's no chance of Manchuria forming, <laughs> that's for sure. Right now I'm trying to blitz my way through all for nigh, but not sure if I can do that quickly enough. Yeah. Not really much else to say. Um, at least my name now stretches quite nicely. Oh, I did fight a war against Iberia to get the provinces back that they took via the expedition system, and also to grab the rest of the provinces they had in Indonesia. As well as Taiwan, once I noticed that, oh hey, China's about to collapse. They're not gonna threaten me over that anytime soon. Of course, there's still the issue of the fact that they now just grab new provinces. The expedition system is just awful to deal with when you're in an area that counts as an expedition target because all of your neighbors are just continuously going to get their coastal provinces sniped, especially when you want them for yourself. Still. Well, I've got on long enough. I'll see you again next time. Until then, bye.